Alrighty, so rounding $4,324.9287 to the nearest $1,000 um, is you just look at what comes after the 1000 Remember our place value, we've got thousands, hundreds, tens, units, or dollars, right? Dollar, same thing as unit, right? Or ones, um, um, units, let's say. Um, and then you've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and ten thousandths. So to the nearest thousand, four thousand, right? To the nearest hundred, because because after the four there occurs a three, and so we need to round um, down. So so we go down to the four. So forty uh, to the nearest hundred. So so we look at the three, but after the three there is a two. So we round down, and so that is 4,300, right? Now, to the nearest dollar. To the nearest dollar, you've got to get it to this uh, spot. To the So the dollars occur here. So take your time. What is it to the nearest dollar? Right. So it's 4, 3, 2, 5. And again... I was thinking about rounding. It's almost the same. It's just a little off. Like so, a common mistake, everybody. Here's a common mistake. Students might say, "Okay, that's three hundred dollars." Like three hundred is way off of that. So definitely not that. Or they might say, "For this, might say, well, the answer is ten. Or sorry, it's five dollars." Well, that's way off that. So no, you got it. It's four thousand three hundred twenty-five. Okay, so round to the nearest cent then. Round to the nearest cent, and think about our place. Are you, are places here, um, because we've got again thousands, hundreds, tens, units, and then tenths, hundredths, thousandths. The nine is is cents. Well, that's kind of tenths of a dollar. It's kind of like dimes, but the cents are actually here. The hundredths are here, right? So. This is what we have to get to, so we look to the, the digit after that. Is it five or, if it's five or more, you round up. If it's four or less, you round down. So do we round up or down? Good. Yeah, so we round up, so that becomes a three. So it's four, three, two, four, point, uh, nine, three. Good.